Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Jonathan with uh, Bay Area Throwbacks. So, uh, today's video is a little different. Uh, it's actually not sports related at all, but you know, I still make sure to throw some of the sports on. But uh, today, is, I'm just gonna um, show kind of like my collection of, of things I got for uh, one of my favorite uh, comedy, I guess, movies of all time, which is, matter of fact, let me grab the DVD. Fast Times at Ridgemont High. So, definitely one of my favorite, uh, you know, comedies of all time. Funny, uh, just funny. If you haven't seen this movie, you gotta go watch it. Um, some of the main actors who who really got a start in this movie, or I don't know if it was their first movies, but when they're really young, was like Sean Penn and um, damn, what's his name? Sean Penn and uh, damn, that's not good. How do I not? know his name sean penn the football player what's the football player's name I don't know. oh forrest whitaker yeah so sean penn and forrest whitaker in this movie when they're young uh this movie was made in what uh can i find this any quicker nice can't find it so anyways it's basically just supposed to be based off of the um the 80s high school life in the 80s uh you know uh <laughs> basically rock and roll drinking partying sex uh i don't know if you could say it on here i don't know how youtube works but cannabis i guess you could just say it like that cannabis uh medicinal purposes only not in the movie but yeah anyways uh matter of fact let me just look at what, what this was made it was made in 1982 so it's based off the 80s made in the 80s 1982 so that sounds really my hilarious movie. Here and there, a few times you always gotta pop this in and watch it again. My uncle is the one who put me onto this uh, movie. My uncle David, he was always talking about this. Always, he always wanted to show me this. And with him, usually when he wants to show me something, I was like, I don't want to see that. But I'm happy he put me onto this one right here. Great movie. You gotta watch it if you don't. Uh, if you haven't watched it already, so. Fast times with my So, a couple things I got. It's not like I have a crazy collection, but you know, I got enough where I thought I could make a video at least out of it. So, uh, some of my two shirts I got, both from uh, Walmart, pretty much. That's probably one of my favorite shirts I got. Right here. So, you got the Fast Times of Ridgemont High. Awesome, totally awesome, which is what uh, uh, Jeff Spicoli says at the end of the movie when um, uh, Brad Hamilton. Uh, the guy tries to rob the store, he throws a coffee on him, and basically has the gun over him and all that. So, that's uh, what Sean Penn, I mean, Sean, Sean Penn, yeah, Jess Bacoli, played by Sean Penn, said in the movie. So, yeah, I love this shirt right here. And, and what's cool is it came in this um, VHS, fake VHS box thing. So, a lot of you, if you're young, probably don't even know what a VHS is, but, yeah. And it has um, her... You know, if you've watched the movie, you know the infamous scene with this uh, part right here. So I'll just leave it at that. But yeah, Fast Times Ridgemont High shirt with the box, which I do keep in the room or in the office, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the other Fast Times Ridgemont High shirt I got, I got this one, same thing, Walmart. Uh, you know, I got the Fast Times Ridgemont High logo right there, Ridgemont High School, 1982. Could just look at the shirt to figure out when this movie was made. But yeah, 1982. Um... Came with this one with uh, Hamilton on it when he was working at the uh, the pirate chicken place or whatever, with the pirate, whatever the restaurant was. Um, the one thing that makes sense about this shirt that I almost didn't want to get it was that the school colors were red. So I don't know why it's blue. Don't get that, but it's cool. I mean, but the, I mean that is the logo that they had on, in the uh, movie. If you watch Forrest Whitaker when he has like his tracksuit on, he does have that logo. But like I said, it was red and white. Don't really know where the um, blue came from. I don't know why they couldn't make it a red shirt, but it's cool. I still like it either way. I still wear it. So that's that. Comes with this. And then the only other little things I got. I'm trying to think. I think that's is I got some pops. So, um, yeah, people love pops. So I got some pops too. So, um, at least on the back here, it shows us five different uh, fast, times, fast times at Ridge Run High pops. I got three of them. So. Uh, who should I start with? I'll say this one for last. So first we got Brad Hamilton. Matter of fact, like uh, Throwback King says, take them out. I saw him rip one of these boxes open on the live. That was kind of crazy. But anyways, 
I take some of my pops out. These ones I saw in boxes, but that's because I, I need to reorganize them. So put them up. So got Brad Hamilton when he was working at the um, damn, can't remember what the uh uh what the restaurant was called. Like Captain, was it called Captain Hooks? Something I don't know. But he was working at the restaurant, so he had his little outfit on. Even has the uh, the name tag right there. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. So it's Brad Hamilton. This was the uh. The last job I think he had in the movie before he got the job at like the uh the I don't know seven eleven or whatever you want to call the little the little store that he worked at at the end of the movie. But yeah, so then he quit when he was driving off and he and he just sick of wearing the outfit and hated the job, so he just threw all the food out when he realized also that the food tasted disgusting. So yep, Brad Hamilton right there. So that's one. I got dos mas. So let's let's put this back in the box. Sorry, Throwback King, but I'm putting it back in the box for now at least. So let's put that right there. Next one I got is I got good old Mr. Hand, which it's funny. I'm a teacher, but <laughs> I probably feel more connected to it. Uh, Spicoli, I mean, not fully with Spicoli, but with the students in that movie than the teacher. So even though I'm a teacher, what does that say about me? I don't know. Anyways, you got Mr. Hand with the infamous slice of pizza. When Spicoli ordered the pizza uh, in class, uh, what do you say? Uh, talking about Cuba, having a feast or enjoying a meal or whatever he said, whatever Spicoli said, uh, a little whatever. So, yeah, when uh, Mr. Ham broke Spicoli's heart by taking the pizza, handing them out to everyone else, and taking a slice for herself. So, yeah, I like this one's dope. Let's see the pizza, Mr. Hand. But no, I like how at the end they had the little. He came before the uh, the party or the the dance or whatever the end of the year dance, and they kind of reconciled and had ended on a good note, which is cool. Good, good, uh, you know, moment of the movie. I mean, the whole movie's good though. But, oh, this box is ripping. That ain't good. So, uh, and then I'll get to the last one I have, which is the man, the myth. Jeff Spicoli. So, of course, we got Jeff Spicoli. Had to, you have to have a Jeff Spicoli. They have two Jeff Spicoli pops. I know if the, uh, matter of fact, we'll look at these real quick. They got this Jeff Spicoli, which I got. The two on the bottom I got. And then they got um, Linda from the uh, swimming pool scene. And then the other Jeff Spicoli. They have two Jeff Spicolis, which the other one is from his dream he had when he was uh, the surfer. That was a good scene, as well as, like I said, every other scene in the movie. But, so here's Jeff Spicoli. I love how accurate they get the outfit, because that's literally, he had that uh, same sweater on, little poncho sweater, whatever, with the same Vans, blue jeans. And I'm assuming, I mean, I don't know why they didn't put anything on the box, but I'm assuming that's the pizza box, obviously. Yeah, which is funny, because it actually matches up with this one. Where he orders the pizza, he has the pizza, and then next thing you know, he loses the pizza. And Mr. Hand takes it and gives it out. So, you gotta have a Jeff Spicoli pop if you're gonna have any Fast Times original on High Pops. You gotta have at least one of the two Jeff Spicolis. I don't know if they made more pops since those five that are on there for uh, Fast Times, but like I guess I got three of five. I definitely should get, I mean, I might as well just get the other two. I might have to do that. I might just have to grab the other two. So, you know, I just might have to do that. So, that's Jeff Spicoli. Like I said, if you if you like funny movies, you gotta watch. And you haven't seen uh, Fast Times, then yeah, you're you gotta watch that. It's a classic, classic movie. Along with like other movies of the time, like Days and Confused, kind of like in that same. Well, Days and Confused I think it was actually made in the '90s, I think, but it's supposed to be based off I think the '70s. But uh, anyways, there. That's just my little Fast Times movies on high collection. Like I said, it's not not a lot, but you know enough for a video put that out there like i said one of my favorite um definitely one of my favorite funny movies of all time possibly maybe one of my favorite movies of all time possibly but like i said shout out to uncle david for showing me that because i probably maybe i would have never knew about it without you showing it to me but anyways that's that everyone have a good day um if you like the video like it subscribe if you're not already if you like the content and if you are subscribe thank you for being here again have a good day i'll see you guys later